What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 25 iOS 9 tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and start out with low power mode. So if you guys haven't used iOS 9 yet, or you haven't watched any videos on it, or even read anything about it, then you don't know about low power mode. But this is actually a pretty big feature that probably a lot of you guys already know about. But basically what it does is allow you to put your device into low power mode, basically conserving battery. So what you want to do here is just go into your settings and then go into battery. Toggle on low power mode right here. You see you'll get a little pop up. Just go ahead and tap on that. And basically you can see what it does. It's gonna temporarily reduce power consumption until you can fully charge your iPhone. And you also notice right here that the battery indicator actually turns yellow uh, rather than green right there when you have low power mode on. Next we have a back to app feature. So this is basically going to allow you uh, to open up any other application within another application. So for instance, if I'm in you know messages right here and I tap on a video or a link that was in my messages you'll notice you get the back to messages option right up there in the top left hand corner so you can just tap on that it's going to bring you back to your application that you were previously in now you can also group notifications so if we go into our settings again and we just go down here to actually we go up to notifications you can see you have a little toggle here to group by app so basically instead of getting your notifications in sequential order you're going to get them in a app by app basis Next, if you go into your settings and then go to iCloud, you'll see that you have iCloud Drive right here. So if you go into that, you can actually toggle on an application or an icon to show on your springboard. So you just toggle that on right there, and then you'll see if we swipe over here that you have your iCloud Drive. So basically, this can be accessed at any time to view, download, or share stored files. You also have a new full featured notes app. So if we go ahead and open that up, you can actually add checklists, you can add doodles, you can actually see everything that you can do right here. So you can add attachments, photos, maps, all that good stuff. You can draw just with your finger. You can also add checklists, like I said. So if we just tap on this, and let's say we're going to create a new uh, note right here, it's actually just type something in here, and then we'll say done. And then we can see down here that we have just a little doodle thing that we can just draw. We can also add a photo from right there. So if we just wanted to add a little draw, we'll choose our pen, just say hi, and then we're done. And you can see that that just adds that in there. For me, it's probably gonna be a whole lot more helpful on my uh, iPad rather than my iPhone, just because I don't hardly ever use the Notes app. I actually usually use Evernote. But if you use the Notes app, then this could definitely be a major step up from what you're accustomed to. Now you also see right here that we have markup and reply option in the share sheet. So I've actually just sent myself a screenshot in my email. So if I just tap and hold on the attachment, you can see that I can swipe over here, tap on markup and reply. And then you'll see right here that we have all these options to basically do whatever we want to to this photo. So we can just, you know, make little drawings. You can tap on this to add text or to zoom in, as you can see right there. Just a whole bunch of different stuff that you can do and can be pretty helpful if you need this feature. Next, we have the search bar in the settings. So if we open up our settings here and we just swipe down, you can see that we have a little search option and you can just tap in tap in you can type in anything that you want right here and you'll see that if i just type in camera then we have all of our camera options that we can just tap on it's going to take us directly to that specific uh, option in your settings now again in the settings if we go into general and then to accessibility you'll see that we have an option here to actually turn on uh, upper and lowercase keys so if we just go into our keyboard you'll see that we have a little toggle here to show lowercase keys on the keyboard so you'll see if I just pull down the spotlight here, everything is lowercase, and when I tap on the shift key, that everything uppercases. So it basically just shows what case you're gonna be using while you're typing on your keyboard. Now if we jump into my photos here and open that up, you'll see that we can just tap on a photo, and to dismiss it, all we have to do is just swipe. So we don't have to actually hit the back button, we can just swipe down. You also notice when we open this up, that we actually have all of our thumbnails of our pictures right down here that you can actually swipe through pretty easily. Now if you want to hide any photos, then you can actually just tap on select and then select the photos that you want to hide. Tap on the little share sheet button right here and then you'll see that we have a hide option. So we tap on hide, you can see those two photos are still selected. If we tap on this, it's going to hide those two photos. Now another feature that a lot of people don't know about is the ambient light uh, for iOS 9. So basically if you put your device face down, it's going to know that 
and it's not going to light up when you get notifications just because that's going to save battery and nobody's going to be looking at it obviously if the phone is face down. Now if we jump into my camera app, you'll see that we can actually swipe over here to video. You can actually toggle on the flash right there. So you can turn that on if for some reason you're recording in the dark. You can also easily save attachments from your email. So if you just tap and hold on the attachment, you can see right here, you just tap on save attachment and that's going to move directly to your iCloud drive if you want to. And then when you open up a new compose message, you can press and hold, tap on the little arrow a couple of times, and then tap on add attachment. And you can see right here, if you had saved it to this location, then you can just add it directly uh, to that message. Now we also have quick reply for your favorite messaging app. So we can just swipe down right here and you can just type in, you know, whatever you want to respond with. And this is not only going to work with messages, but it's also going to work with very popular applications like WhatsApp. Now you can see right here I'm in Maps. And what this does, uh, when you tap on the little address bar right up here, that's actually going to give you some quick suggestions. So you can see right here that we have food, drink, shopping, health, fun, services, all kinds of different stuff just in case, you know, you're in an unfamiliar area and you just kind of want to look around or just see what's nearby. And right below those suggestions, you can actually see that you have your favorites, home, and your work if you have that uh, saved in there as well. Jumping back into our settings here, and we tap on general, tap on accessibility, you can actually turn off uh, your vibration as well. So if we just scroll down here to vibration, you can see you can toggle that on or off just right there. And now in iOS 9, you can actually request a desktop site from the share sheet. So if we tap on this, you can see if we swipe over just a bit, that we can request a desktop site, tap on that, and it's gonna do just that. But you can see that it didn't really do so well because this is still the mobile version, but that feature doesn't always work. Now you can also call from search. So if we swipe over here, let's just say that we wanted to uh, call Rob. So if we tap on Rob, you can see that you can actually call directly from this location. So that's just a quick way to get in touch with your contacts. Now something that's always kind of been annoying to me is the shake to undo. So basically when you're typing something out and maybe you put your phone in your pocket for your second and then you pull it back out, it says, do you want to undo your typing? So I never use that for any reason. I've never purposely used it. So you can see right here that you can turn off shake to undo if you want to do that directly within your accessibility. Now if we jump back into our settings here and then we go into Safari. So you can see if I tapped on passwords right here and if I actually had passwords uh, stored in here, then it's actually going to uh, require me to use my Touch ID to get in there and access those. Now again here in the settings, if we wanted to turn on Touch ID and passcode, you can see if we tap on turn on passcode that we have a six digit passcode. So basically that's going to bump up from the four digit passcode, which has a combination of about 10,000 up to a million for the six digit passcode. So that's gonna be a whole lot more secure than the four digit passcode that we've had in the past. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think about these tips and tricks in the comments below. Look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.